Let me just ask you first your reaction to the intense backlash you've seen after your 13-person group. I understand it's, I think, uh, six minorities, six whites, one unknown. That's what we were told on the racial makeup. But a diverse group of professionals gets together uh, to come up with this thoughtful curriculum. And it's to the point where you have the vice president of the United States making an emergency trip down to Jacksonville, Florida to condemn it. My reaction was incredulousness. The very idea that the sentence that was being quoted refutes the charge being made against it should make it unnecessary for anyone to have to speak out about it. Grammar, for people of basic literacy, sufficiently refutes the charge. So it was incre- I was incredulous. I-, I couldn't believe. But then I came to understand this really had nothing to do with the standards. It has everything to do with the larger agenda, starting with the teachers' union and their allies. And of course, carrying it to the level of the vice presidency in order to give it heft. So this mm-hmm. agenda is to prove not just to affect the teaching of African American history, but to continue to impose a mantle on the entire country that accounts for slavery as the soul of America and discounts the accomplishments of America. That's what it's about. So so mm. I was incredulous. I I spoke up, of course, immediately, because as you rightly cited, it is categorically false to say that we adopted, embraced the positive good school of slavery. Nothing could be further from the truth. But that was the allegation, as if we were John C. Calhoun and Roger B. Taney. It was absolutely false. Mm -hmm. And just so we get the audience up to speed, Um, The agenda for uh, students learning history in Florida, including about slavery, mentions slavery repeatedly, talks that, you know, it requires that the horrors of slavery are fully explored and taught. The thing that has caught the attention of the political left is one line. Uh, I'll read the preceding part, and then I'll read what's caused the controversy. Uh, It reads, this is SS.68.AA2.3. Examine the various duties and trades performed by slaves, e.g. agricultural work, painting, carpentry, tailoring, domestic service, blacksmithing, transportation. Not controversial. Then what is added as a clarification is instruction includes how slaves develop skills, which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. Now that seems a truism. Um, That doesn't seem to me at all controversial. I remember taking um, a, a very interesting, it was a book class on, um, like an extracurricular sort of book club at my children's school in New York City, a very woke, private, left-wing school. And we were talking about African-American history. And they, the African-American people in the group thought it was very important to make sure that we talked about the accomplishments of Black people in America's history including and especially during the time of slavery, as a testament to their spirit, yes. as a testament, yes. right, to their resilience. So when I see that, yes. I saw this, I said, I get it. I see exactly what they're doing. And that was the left saying that. But now it's a very different message. And, and just to give people a flavor, here is the vice president of the United States criticizing this line. Extremists pass book bans to prevent them from learning our true history. They push forward revisionist history. They decided middle school students will be taught that enslaved people benefited from slavery. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us and we will not stand for it. They want to replace history with lies. They dare to push propaganda to our children. This is the United States of America. We're not supposed to do that. Let us not be distracted by what they're trying to do, which is to create unnecessary debates to divide our country. How do you respond to the charge you want to replace history with lies? Well, let me first make an observation that helps us think through this. We we know the vice president well. And we know that when she speaks spontaneously, she has an unavoidable cackle. But when she's speaking from a script, she's very grave and very serious. So we know she's following a script here. 
<laughs> and the script is that she has to reject what is common sense in the name of an ideological agenda. It's as simple as that. So, so my reaction is, is straightforward, and I think this would be true of anyone who participated in this process, namely that Booker T. Washington titled his autobiography Up From Slavery. That's his story, not our story. He told it. Frederick Douglass told the story of the mistress of his slave master teaching him to read, beginning that until she was shut down by the slave master. She pulled back the curtain just a bit so a beam of light shone through. And that was enough for him to take that beam and turn it through his own efforts into a flame of illumination that benefited him and his country. And these stories are legends. The people who lived the histories told the stories. The curriculum is about allowing the people who lived the histories to speak in their own names for themselves, to tell their own stories. Lying? No. The lie is that we should make up a story about them rather than listening to the stories they told on their own authority. Mm. Well said. The, the reaction, though, is so over the top. I've got yes. to stay on it for a minute. The Here is the state's largest teachers union in Florida, the Florida Education Association, calling this a disservice and a big step backward. Evidently, quote, in an attempt to protect students from wokeness, these new standards will make sure that through the fourth grade, elementary school students' knowledge of African-American history does not extend beyond being able to know who a famous African-American is when they see them. That's the teacher's union saying you're trying to reduce knowledge of history and African-Americans to, oh, there's LeBron James, cool. I, th this is, of all the dishonest <laughs> statements, doctor, I, this has got to be at the top of the list. You, you know it is because, look, the African-American History Work Group deliberated in public the sessions were open to the public. It was widely disseminated. The teachers union was invited to attend, to listen, to, and to contribute. They remained silent through the entire process, contributed wow. zero, zero, until it was all done, and then surfaced like snakes in the grass to take pot shots. Now, <sighs> tell me that that's not a deliberate design. Oh my goodness, I didn't know that. Did they bother to show up or did they not, did they blow the whole thing off? They blew it off to all practical purposes. One person who had some affiliation attended some of the sessions, but largely the sessions were empty, devoid of any presence from the teachers union, whether online or in person. Oh, that's, that's stunning, but I guess nothing is. For three days only, cbdistillery.com is giving you an exclusive offer, and it's a great one. Right now, you can get up to 50% off everything when you use the code VIP. Choose from a range of carefully formulated CBD and other plant-based solutions for relaxation, stress, sleep, pain after physical activity, even mood and focus. They extract healing plant compounds and vital nutrients for your whole body. No artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, or sweeteners. Just 100% clean ingredients. Don't miss this exclusive VIP sale and get up to 50% off your order. Visit cbdistillery.com and enter VIP. That's cbdistillery.com and enter VIP. cbdistillery.com. Not available in Idaho, Iowa, or South Dakota. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.